We don't talk enough about inflation on the show. Washington tells you it's not happening. It's not real. Of course it's real. Look at the prices. Gasoline, real estate, you name it. They are all going up. What's going on here and what's going to happen next? Peter Schiff is the first person we call to answer these questions. Don't know a lot about the subject. He's the CEO of Euro-Pacific Capital and an economist. Peter, thanks so much for coming on tonight. What are we watching? It seems clear to consumers that inflation is happening. Will it get worse? Well, it's going to get much worse, Tucker. You have to remember that inflation really is nothing more than a tax. You know, when the government spends money, they, they need to get the money. The public has to pay for it. Normally, the government would raise taxes, and then taxpayers send money to the government, the government spends it. But we just passed a $1.9 trillion stimulus bill. Nobody's taxes got raised, but we don't get all this government for free. What happens is the Federal Reserve prints the money, and then the government spends it into circulation. But when that happens, the value of all the money that's already out there goes down, and now the price of everything that you right. want to buy goes up. And that added price is basically the inflation tax. It feels like it's intentional. I mean, is this the way that we're going to pay down the debt by making it less costly by devaluing the dollar? Well, certainly, as you have inflation, you reduce the real value of the debt. But the government has no plan to pay off the debt. I mean, they're repudiating it. But the real problem is the amount of money they're going to have to spend just to finance uh, all their current commitments. Uh, and, and this is a, a massive amount of money printing. It's unprecedented inflation because it's the money supply that is being inflated. And as a result, everything costs more because we're not producing more. It's actually the result, the opposite. Americans are at home. They're not producing goods and services, yet we're creating more money to buy the goods and services that fewer people are producing. More money, fewer goods. Prices are just going to keep going up and they're, they're, it's not going to stop. Just in 10 seconds, is this as crazy as it looks from an outsider's perspective? Well, I don't know how it looks to an outsider, but I think to everybody that's living in the United States, it's not going to look pretty. And the real problem is the Fed. The Fed pretends that it's transitory. But when they have to admit that it's not transitory, the inflation rate will be far too high for the Fed to do anything about it. Because if the Fed actually raises rates to fight inflation, they'll create a much bigger financial crisis than 2008. And the U.S. government will be forced into insolvency because even Gary. Janet Yellen admitted Peter, we're the out only of time. reason we'll we can pay...